Hey everyone, welcome to another painting tutorial by Pike's Miniature Painting. Uh, so today I'm just going to um, do the Blades of Corn Judgments. It's going to be quite a quick video as there's um, not huge amounts of detail on the models and these are going to be for tabletop use so they're going to be uh, quite a quick one. As you can see I've already built and base coated the models. This was uh, Chaos Black Spray with uh, white over the top. It was the last of a Corax white can which is why it looks a bit spattery uh, around the bottoms of the models there. Um, I've also just put a little bit of white uh, through the airbrush on the blood section because this is going to be a bit brighter so it's better to have a, a lighter base coat to work from. And then the um, axe sort of curve piece I've kept separate and the axe itself I've um, kept separate and I've just base coated the edge of the flames there as well. I begin by base coating the um, bases with Mornfang Brown through the airbrush. Um, again, in this video I'm going to use the airbrush a lot. Uh, this is just to save time. Um, these are quite large um, areas, so just you know, running the colour through the airbrush is a lot quicker than base coating. All of what I'm about to do in this video can be done with a normal brush, so don't be uh, discouraged if you don't have an airbrush. Just um, replace any obviously airbrushing sections with just base coating or dry brushing uh, where relevant this will be on like the flames and parts of the skulls. I then base coat the skulls with Zandru dust. I then apply the first layer on these skulls using Ushapti bone.
I then highlight the upper areas of these skulls with the Screaming Skull. I use a bit of Agrax Earthshade through the airbrush just to um, shade the underside of the skulls a little bit. I base coat the brass symbol using Gehenna's gold. While I've got the gold out, I also uh, layer the little symbols on the fronts of the skulls. I then wash all the uh, gold metal areas with Reichland Flesh Shade Gloss. I base coat the axe and the little spikes on the sides of the skulls with lead belcher. So I've got a bunch of these different little pots already pre-mixed. It's a um, half a sort of non oil um, pot poured in with um, half a pot of Lamy Medium. Just so they're pre-mixed, so I don't have to keep making uh, washes each time on the palette. It's just handy to keep them in a little pre-mixed pot.
I apply Troll Slayer Orange for the airbrush to the first part of the flame. I dry brush the bases with Steel Legion Drab. followed up by a dry brush from Ushapti Bone. Now that the orange is dry, they go back and apply the second layer with Flash Gets Yellow. I then shade the other side of the orange with Evil Sun Scarlet. This is quite thin, um, so it's literally just there to add a little bit of colour, and then I'm going to shade it again afterwards with some black. So once all the red is done, I apply a final shade with black.
you can see here using the um, the push fit sort of feature of these ender spells um, it's quite easy to um, remove that bit and then uh, paint it and pop it back in I then base coat all of the blood areas with Mephiston Red. Using some thin down Null Oil, I just apply a bit of shade into the bottom of the uh, blood areas. You could do this um, just as a wash. Um, I just had some of the black left in the um, airbrush from before, so I just pop this down. To add more depth and to shade the um, like the little bubbles and bits around the bottoms of the blood, I washed all of the blood areas on the model with Caraba Crimson. I then use Caraba Crimson to put some areas around the uh, blood sections. So this is just sort of seeping out into the sand uh, around it. You can do sort of any sort of shapes and patterns here, but just sort of nice and thick towards the middle and then sort of seep outwards, um, sort of almost like a sort of spider web if you want. Um, here I, I just do a main sort of, sort of splodge and then a little bit uh, either sort of side. I paint in the details using dried bark, uh, this is like the cracks in the skull and the teeth. Once the Caraba Crimson had uh, dried, I applied a blood letter. Uh, this is just to sort of push the red a bit more um, and just to sort of brighten it up so you've got some sort of darker areas around where it's not started to dry because obviously they're flowing outwards, but just to show that it's, um, you know, the, the thicker it is, the, uh, the redder it is in the middle. I then gloss all of the blood areas. Um, you can uh, leave them as they are if you want, but I kind of like the uh, the glossy effect on these. I left the blood patches we just painted with the Caraba Crimson and the Blood Letter um, not glossed 
um, I then uh, go back and visit them later on. I'll show you that. So while the gloss varnish is drying, I uh, apply sandry dust to all the skulls and bones. I then highlight up all the skulls with Screaming Skull. Using Blood for the Blood God, I apply streaks on the axe. I give this quite a few coats just to build it up, um, so you have sort of thinner um, towards the back and sort of on the blade's edge itself, quite thick, chunky, almost let it pull and splodge it on so it sort of builds up a bit more sort of coagulated blood so it's a lot thicker. continue adding blood for the blood god uh, this is around all the rivets and over the actual symbol itself sort of seeping out of all the cracks in it so while i had the blood for the blood god out i also applied some around the uh, little blood pools that come out of the eyes 
um, just so that it wasn't all uh, matte uh, like the where the washes bloodletter and uh, caribou crimson went and this was just to sort of add a bit more of a sort of a wet look uh, around just the um, just the edges So all that's left to do is to glue the axe into place and then place any extra tufts or flowers or any extra sort of basing scatter you want on the uh, models. I put some little tufts on and put some little splatters of blood across a few of them just to keep them sort of tied in with the theme of the base. Uh, quite enjoy painting these. They were um, pretty quick, like not huge amounts of detail, so you can actually um, you can actually sort of score through them pretty quick. I mean, I think it took me. So three hours to do all four together um, obviously a bit longer at drying times but um, I just did other bits while I was waiting for bits to dry like while the gloss was drying I just cracked on and did the skulls and bits and pieces um, I'm going to do lots of more little videos like this because I kind of enjoy doing little short ones and it's quite fun to edit half hour videos instead of you know two hour long um, sort of big big projects but I do have some coming up so uh, watch this space and uh, you know like and subscribe to the uh, the videos and the channel and uh, you know hopefully enjoyed it and uh, i'll speak to you guys soon bye